I do recommend the three E's of experience, exposure, and education to really uh, progress in your career. And it applies to any career, um, such as diversity and inclusion. And, you know, what I really recommend um, is that, you know, um, if someone was interested in this field, uh, that they get experience. So obviously, an internship would be a good step. Um, you know, also, if there was an opportunity full time at an organization, um, even better, <laughs> right? Um, so, um, you know, hands on experience uh, is really, really uh, critical. Um, I mean, you really don't understand it until you do it. Um, and you can also um, not necessarily just look for a full time opportunity, but maybe it could be part of your role. I actually embedded it because I felt it was a business strategy, right? So I embedded it in any role I did. Um, so it doesn't have to be a dedicated role in diversity. Um, you can integrate diversity into your everyday work life. Um, and then secondly, exposure. Get a mentor in diversity and inclusion or someone that has experience doing it. Um, and I actually got a sponsor out of it as well. But, you know, surround yourself uh, with that network of mentors or advisors. Uh, I had no experience doing diversity and inclusion when I got here. It just sounded cool. But, you know, I, I, what I did was I created a network that didn't exist uh, because I had to learn uh, about it. I had to learn about Japan diversity and inclusion so I was reaching out through my network and found people, uh, found people in California that did diversity inclusion in Japan, found diversity inclusion in Japan, you know, experts in Japan, right? Also Asia Pacific globally, right? So I built my network to learn from them. And in addition to that, I also shadowed people and I went with them. Um, on the job, sometimes to their presentations, uh, when, it, when it was, you know, um, a allowed. And also, I would see them speak in public about it. Um, so that, from the exposure standpoint, was really important. Uh, and then third, training. Obviously, there is, you know, there are workshops now. Um, there's courses dedicated to diversity and inclusion. I know they had um, you know, a diversity inclusion element um, at my university um, when it, in regards to uh, women's empowerment and uh, women, uh, and, and actually psychology as well embedded it uh, into their program. 